What's up guys? I'm Nick and this is Build Dad Build. And today we're talking about this little fellow. So I've worked with BenQ in the past and they reached out and they wanted to send me their desktop speaker, which is this little guy, the Travolo U. This is not just another Bluetooth speaker. This is actually designed to help clarify the human voice. This is the Travolo voice engine inside it. What that means is this, this can actually discern the human voice from background noise and pull that voice out and really enrich that voice so you can hear it more clearly. So this guy is designed to focus on clear human voice reproduction. It emphasizes the human voice and it has a high quality voice pickup. So imagine this, you're in that conference call with that one guy that just uses his mic that's on his computer and he always sounds like garbage and you can never understand what he's saying. This will clear that up for you. Now you can use this as a Bluetooth speaker. It does have a music mode. It also has a video learning mode and a live learning mode. The video learning mode is designed to enhance voice and speech if you're listening to like an online tutorial or something along those lines. And then the live learning mode is more for like Zoom calls and uh, video conference calls. You have a one piece design, it comes with this blue grill, the rest of it's white. All the accessories it comes with are white as well. It comes with a USB-A to USB-C charging cord, along with a power brick. And it does come with a 3.5 mil cable to connect to devices that don't have Bluetooth connectivity. It's designed with a 12 degree elevation on it. So instead of sitting there and facing up at the ceiling or facing straight out at you, it's a gradual angle that kind of just faces right to your face. I have had a chance to use this on several conference calls. Unfortunately, those conference calls are kind of confidential. So I can't really use any of the audio from that. So I thought I would do is run down to the shop, grab some audio from the shop with like the fans blowing and all the uh, and all the background noise and then come back up here and show you what it sounds like with the different modes enabled. Okay, so this is typical shop noise. I'm assuming you can hear the fan and the laser running and the air conditioner and all that stuff. Okay, so this is a test of the Travolo U desktop speaker. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Okay, so we are in Adobe Premiere Pro went and created a quick link in the shop. So here's what that sounds like on the computer with no editing. So this is typical shop noise. I'm assuming you can hear the fan and the laser running and the air conditioner and all that stuff. Okay, so this is a test of the Travolo U desktop speaker. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Three. Okay, so this isn't gonna be like the best camera shot ever. Basically, I wanna point the microphone on the camera directly into the speaker. So I'm gonna set you down. And then by pressing this once, it goes into video learning mode. Pressing it again when it's when this is blinking is in live learning mode and completely off is music mode. I'm gonna do it in music mode first because I think it's gonna give us the most surround noise, so the most background noise, but let's go ahead and play that clip again. Okay, so this is a test of the Travolo U desktop speaker. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Video learning mode. Okay, so this is a test of the Travolo U desktop speaker. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. And live learning mode. Okay, so this is a test of the Travolo U desktop speaker. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Interesting because I was using this to edit the other day and instead of my studio monitors, I was using the Travolo U and I had it set into live learning mode, I believe, or maybe just video mode, one of the two, um, not music mode and I had to turn it off because it was editing out too much of the background noise to where I couldn't tell like what I needed to do as far as what adjustments I needed to make. Uh, so I was really impressed with it that way. 
mainly what I end up doing a lot of times when I'm editing a video is I go into the soundtrack, so whatever music is playing, and there is a vocal range that music doesn't really happen in, but your human voice does. And what I do is I remove that or lower that that range, Hertz range or whatever, I'm not an audio guy. I lower that down and it makes it easier to hear you when you're talking over music. So that was kind of doing this without my having to go in there and manually do it. So basically what the speaker is doing is it's 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 doing the the opposite of that, right? It's taking everything except the vocal range and removing it and enhancing the vocal range so you can understand that better. All right, let's talk about it. It's a pretty simple design. We've got your on off button right here. This is your Bluetooth button. If you are blue, you are connected. You've got your volume up and your volume down. Your volume down is also your mute button. So if you're on a call and you wanna mute, you go ahead and hold that down and it'll mute you. This is your safe volume button. And then this is the one that changes you in between modes. So music mode, live learning mode, and live mode. Across the front, you have your ECM microphone, your Electret condenser microphone, ECM. I, I don't know what that means. And then you've also got your detection for how far away you are from the speaker. You've got your nice blue accent grill color. The bottom has a little bit of rubber to it so it doesn't rattle when it's sitting on your desk. And then across the back, just inside this little guy right here is uh, your USB-C connector uh, for power and to connect to a device. And then if you're gonna connect to a device that does not have Bluetooth, you can always use the 3.5 millimeter jack. The Travolo U also comes with a really cool app that I just downloaded. This is taking me kind of like base, through a basic thing. It's showing me that this is the mic, this is the distance detector. We haven't talked about the distance detector yet. What it does is it detects how far you are from the speaker and more importantly, the microphone and it adjusts your voice levels accordingly. So in order to create your own sound profile, you click on sound profile, it's gonna do an environmental test. So it's gonna test the sound in the room. So we're gonna do that and it's detecting. So first we're gonna put the speaker where you're gonna have it and in the environment you're gonna have it. And then you're just gonna hit start testing. So what we're doing currently is we're looking at the different hertz that you can hear and it's asking me if i can hear it or not but it's asking me if i can hear it and i didn't hear that so I'm, there we go then it increases the volume and we move on to the next one what that reminds me of is if you've ever had your hearing checked and they tell you to raise your hand it's kind of like that the different noises that you hear then you name your sound profile okay so that was for music i can go in and i can do a new one it's gonna do the environmental test. It's got a home screen that will show you how much battery is left. You can set it to what devices you have on there. It also has your sound profile set. So right now I have my video learning set. You can have it start detecting just to give you a safe volume for the room. You can set sound profiles and then you can also manage your connected devices in the app. All right guys, so if you work for yourself or you work from home and you're on a lot of conference calls, this is kind of a must have in my opinion. I hate being on those calls where I can't understand what somebody's saying, and I also am not a big fan of when somebody can't understand me. I think a lot of stuff, forgive me, won't get lost in translation with this. It's definitely a must have if you're doing a lot of conference calls. I would say it's also a must have if you're doing any online learning. I really like it for online learning because it does kind of just dampen out any background noise. A lot of online courses that I take, people have recorded themselves. And so there's not like super really bad background noise, but there's enough background noise that it's distracting. So if you're thinking about picking one up, I will link this down below. And uh, other than that, I would say heave ho, Trevolo, you. Until next time. Whoop.